Hello, wherever you are. Uh, we have an absolutely delightful full body strength workout for you today. Uh, the way today is going to work is we have five exercises. You are going to do one set of each exercise. The timing is 40 seconds of work, only 10 seconds of rest, and we're doing three laps. So not only are we gonna be gassing those muscles with the strength training, going slow and control, that little tiny break right there is really gonna amp up your muscular endurance. A little cardio for the muscles, if you will. Uh, remember, if you have equipment, have it nearby. If you don't have equipment, it's okay. One of us will be going sans equipment. One of us will be doing with equipment. All right, we'll do a quick little demo, then we're gonna get right into this. So remember, get it in your warm up already. This is a great opportunity to slightly start moving around, jumping jacks, high knees, all that little mumbo jumbo, get the butt on. So, first thing we're doing is we're doing like a little B squat with an abduction. What does that mean? Well, these I'm about to show you. So one leg is staggered a little bit forward, the other back knee kind of flares up a little bit and they do a little leg lift. And the way the sucker is gonna work is we're gonna spend one lap on one leg, second lap, the other leg, third lap, half and half. If it becomes a little bit too much, by all means start alternating legs with every rep if you need, you need that little bit of, of, of a break. That's totally fine. Number two, we are doing side lunges. So once again, we are just going to stay on one side and then we'll go in there. See, notice how D scoops her butt back, shoot that butt back, sit down almost in an imaginary chair. All right, next up, we are doing hamstring walks or hamstring leg lifts. The hamstring walk, nice and close, walk all the way out walk all the way back. Now, if you, that's tier one. Tier two, walk all the way out. Nice little leg lift on each side. Really drive that leg, control the move, don't swing the leg. Tier three is you're staying out here and you're doing the leg lift slow and control, especially on the way down. Don't let gravity rob you, you're fun. Exercise number four. I love doing the talking here. This has been quite delightful for me. Of course I uh, love, you love to talk. <laughs> I do, because no one ever asks me to talk. Uh, what we're doing here is we're doing push-ups. We're gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna start off with a tricep push-up. Arms are gonna be a little bit closer, elbows tight to the body, all the way up. Then you take a step out nice and wide, do a wide push-up, go back into that tricep push-up, then go wide out to the other side. Just notice that D's pivoting on her toes. You can do this from your knees as well. You'll just be pivoting on your knees. If that is too much, regular push-ups are fine. Master the fundamentals, and then we can add bells and muscles. Finally, just to add some more intensity to this whole thing, we're gonna do burpees for 40 seconds. So chest to the floor, remember it is not a push up. Or you can do high plank version. You wanna stay at the top of your push up position. Or you can just do a little step back, step forward. So there's three versions for you to enjoy there. And then we're gonna loop right back up. So you're only at 10 seconds, then we're going into those little B squats with the abduction. So as always, if you need to press pause, after each lap to get a little more rest in you, please do so. But no more than a minute. No more than a minute. No okay, more than stop a minute. talking. You guys right. ready? Let's do this. So first we're doing the B stand squats with that abduction, staying on one side, right foot in front, left foot back. So you're putting that entire weight into that front right leg, and then the left leg lifts out to a side abduction. Okay, so if you have dumbbells and weights, you can hold those. You can, if you have one dumbbell, you can just hold one dumbbell right in front. Your goblet hold. Really focus on squeezing that right glute as you come up from that squat. Nice strong abduction, nice slow lift, really squeezing your butt. Slow control on the way down. Woo! You need a chair I'm done. in the next lap. You can have a chair by your side. I'll demonstrate how to hold on to something with your balance a little wonky, which is okay. All right, side lunges. So again, we're staying on that one side, okay? Here. So make sure you're really shooting that bum all the way back. Weight stays in your heel, chest is up. Now you're pushing through the floor as you come back up. Nice deep breaths, exhale to the top. And again, if you have dumbbells, grab those dumbbells. Or again, you can just hold one dumbbell, goblet hold. Good happy medium alternative here. Inhale down, pause it at the bottom here. 
power through the floor as you come up. Good. Hamstring box next. Either way, you're holding nice high bridge position, stabilizing through the core. Make sure you're not letting your hips rock in here. And we're doing those leg lifts. If you're following me, really press those heels through the floor. And then you're walking back in. Really drive your shoulders and elbows into the floor to help keep your hips up. You don't want your hips to drop. Feel it in the back of your legs, between the butt and top of your knee. Ooh, awesome. All right, push up combo. Here we go, guys. So nice, narrow, elbows tucked in, close to the side of your body. Step out for a wide push up. Now check in at the bottom of each push up, make sure your hands are in line with the nipples, not the shoulders. So next is neutral, head is straight in line with the spine, nice slow controlled. Remember if that becomes too much, just do regular push ups until you get strong enough to do these more advanced versions, there's nothing wrong with that. Beautiful, four seconds. All right, burpees, and then we're down your first lap. So nice deep breath, and let's have some fun. Here we go. Remember, land flat on your feet and jump from low. Same rules apply, you're stepping it back. Flat feet, stand strong. Here we go, guys. 15 seconds. Keep pushing forward. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, holy. So we're going right. right into those Bs, those B squats, abduction. Other leg. Other side. Pause if you need that extra break. So left leg in front. So if you have a balance issue, have a chair with a lead leg. So you can just put your hand there to help with that abduction. If you need that little bit of assistance so you get that full range of motion. Nice, slow controlled, nice deep breaths. Remember that work is happening in that front leg. Power up that left glute and then the right glute as you abduct and lift that right leg up. Two, one, woo! Side lunges, other side. Can you remember what leg I was Well, can I help you there? All right, here we go. So notice with me and I, this leg is straight. So it should be nice and straight. Don't have it bent and kind of turning in. Nice strong step. Push back your butt, nice straight leg. Turn this neck. Oh, please enjoy that little pause at the bottom. Woo! It's all about the pause, guys. Especially if you're not using weight, challenge yourself. Hold that position and then come up. That's a great way of mimicking weight if you don't have weight. Woo! Punch three walks. Three, two, one, here we go. Take your hammies for a stroll. So again, the main goal here is you're not letting your hips drop, you're keeping those hips parallel to the ground. When you do those leg lifts, to really press the heel into the ground. Tiny little steps, don't rush this, guys. Slower is much better. So it's called a hamstring walk and not a hamstring jog. I need a little control Sunday morning. Go ahead and go get a coffee. 10 seconds strong. We'll keep that core engaged here. Almost there. Whew. 
All right, push-ups. Your homework during this set, watch your thumbs. It's easier for the thumbs to pull out. It means you're flaring at your elbows and using your shoulders. So if your thumbs are coming off the floor, don't go that deep. Just go as deep as you can with your thumbs staying contact on the ground. Doesn't mean you have to go as deep as D and I. Go as deep as your form will allow. Last 10 seconds, guys. Nice deep breaths. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Take your time. Woo! All right. For a piece. Yay! Rob's favorite. I know. I'm very jealous. You get to do the... You want to switch? No. I didn't think so. I'll totally do it. Look my fitness BFF. Now, whatever version you're doing, you can mix it up too. You can do a bunch of the versions D doing, and then if you need a breather, do the high plank version or the step back version. Mix and match. Let your form dictate which version you're doing. Awesome job. Last lap. One more to go. So we're switching halfway for these B squats and the side lunge. Here we go, guys. So start with that right leg in front, left leg abducts, slow controlled. Make sure when you're squatting, squat back. Right, really sit back into that heel, keeping those toes relaxed and switch legs. So it's more like Squat and a lunge had a baby. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of your stance. So your back knee is going to be a little bit more forward. Nice. Exhale to the top. Last five seconds. Remember, full range of motion going all the way down. All right, side lunges. So same here. We're going to be switching halfway. Or if you want, you can definitely alternate okay, as well. So here we go. Nice deep breaths. And sitting all the way back, nice and low. Big step out to the side. Full range of motion, pause it at the bottom. One more and then we're switching. All right. And then out of sight. It's at 10 seconds strong, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Awesome hamstring walks. Now for this one, you can grab your weight. If you want to take it up a notch for the last set, place your weight on your hips. Just for an extra little fun. Just because why not, right? We're already here. Let's get this done. Remember, keeping that core nice and strong. Watch your hips and butt. You're working drunk. Don't deny yourself of this fun. Woo! Push-ups. Two more to go and then we're done. Nice and strong finish, guys. Side lead. Two, one, here we go. Remember, lower with control. And make sure you're making a double chin. That way you're not lurching with your neck to give the illusion you're getting lower than you are. Last couple of reps, stay strong, deep breaths. Two, one, woo! All right, let's 
finish this off with burpees. See if you still have tons of energy left. Let's push the pace here a little bit. Remember, form, form, form. What Let's go. Beautiful way to end. That was Rob's idea, by the way. Not mine. Oh my god. Such a lovely way. It's like a first kiss as the sun sets. Oh. <laughs> That's what doing burpees at the end of your workout is like. So romantic and heartwarming and everything you've ever wanted in life. Last few seconds, guys. Here we go. Keep working. All the way to the end. Go three, two, one. Woo! Awesome job. Look at that. Yeah. And as always, yeah. if you've got more time, scrub back to the beginning. Do another lap or two. Designed quick, but we have designed it to be longer if you have the time. So there you go. So as always, guys, make sure you let your heart rate cool off gradually. Do your cool down, do your stretches. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time. See you on the Facebook page.